Hallelujah. 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 Let us sit down just for a few minutes. Maria Kashoto Kobla Shinda Yada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is a revelation in the book of Psalm, Psalm 29 that we read this morning about the thundering voice of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to quickly go into a few verses and I want us to catch the revelation that God has brought to us moving forward. It says, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. He's not talking, David is not talking about just anyone. David is giving us the understanding that God has the power, the authority over any other thing in your life. Kings, rulers, territorial powers, witches, wizards, whatever they call themselves. David recognized that there is a power in the voice of God that thundered by fire. So God is reassuring you and I that whatever the obstacle may be, whatever the mountain may be, whatever the opposition may be, whatever the trials may be, moving forward, you are going to decree and continue to command that every power that is not of God listen to the thundering voice of the Lord. Verse 5 says that the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yeah, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. Every opposition in your life, whatever it is that has caged you, that has stopped you, that will make you feel like nobody, today they are listening to the voice of the Lord. They are listening to the voice of the Lord. They are listening to the voice of the Lord. And they are silent in the name of Jesus. You wake up in the middle of the night. And your heart is pondering like a thunder. Having sleepless night. Thinking about those mountains. How am I going to take care of this? How am I going to pay this bill? How am I going to overcome? There is a voice. That has been spoken into your life right now. Concerning that child. A voice is being spoken right now. Concerning that situation. A voice is being spoken right now. Because it turned red by fire. That's the voice of the Lord God Almighty. So be at peace. There is no power, no demon, no authority, no principalities or rulers that can stand the thundering voice of your Lord. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God deliver them from them all. Let us stand up in his presence. Stand up in his presence. You are not playing with them anymore. Because you know the God that you serve. You know he that is in you. You know the power that you carry. You know the promises that he made for you. You know that you keep finding yourself in the midst of kings, in the midst of great people. You are dining with them. But it's like God, when is it going to happen? The voice that thundered, that declared the trees of Seda in Lebanon to be still, is working in your life. See how far you brought me. Yes, I'm so glad 
God, you found me worthy. Come on now. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your. Do you truly mean it when He take you to that next level? Oh, is it? He cannot bring you this far and now embarrass you. He cannot bring you this far and now let you alone. He cannot bring you thus far and let you be stranded he cannot bring you this far i'll be telling you that you will not live longer oh it's your grace oh my day i will see your praise there is a group of people in the house and god almighty is my witness the lord is saying that there is a set of people in the house today that our senior pastor needs to pray for we're going to pray if you know of a truth that you have been struggling in your finances and you know of a truth that you have not been faithful with your tithes i'm not saying about giving offering you know doing hospitality you know charity no i'm talking about your tenth percent because I was now asking the Lord. I said, why? He said, it's about. I am not excluded. But what the Lord is saying is this. Maybe... Because of ignorance, when you get your tenth percent, you divide it into a few. Because maybe my, my, your, your father has a church, your mom has a church, and you want to support their ministry. But the Lord is saying that that is why you have been seeing inconsistency in your blessing. There is God on this mountain. And today the Lord has come. I want you to test God. I said, Daddy, so what are we, what, how, how are they going to know? Please something, ask him for something before the end of this year. If you are ready to be faithful with your tithe, that before this year, 2024, Daddy, I am going to be faithful with you with my tithe because you saw me. He knows us. Don't let us deceive ourselves. If you are doing good, if you are doing bad, he knows you. But he is such a compassionate God. So why we close our eyes and the song is going on if you know that you are one of those people that you have been you have been tif what is it? Oh, ja, Allah, 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 Allah. i don't even know is that, uh, Nikki? hey thank you you have been stealing ignorantly from god i remember years ago i've shared this before i called my dad my biological father and i said dad I have this so, so, so amount of money and I want to pay my tithe to your church. I want to divide it. Because in my spirit, I was not comfortable. So I called him and I asked him that question. I said, is it okay if I send some to you? I, I kept some in my church, blah, blah, blah. My father said, no, you can never do that. You have to pay your own represent tithe to the church where you attend, where God is blessing you. And ever since then, I caught that revelation. So if you are giving, thinking because I'm out of your ten percent, you are supporting some ministries back home. From today, please let us change that strategy. Use this strategy and see how God is going to bless you financially in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you know you are in this category, don't be ashamed, oh, because the water is roaring right now. Come out, come out and speak to God as we sing that song. See how far you brought me. Yes, He has been so wonderful to us. Things that we cannot even attain by ourselves. The Lord gave us the grace to, to achieve it. So who are we? He knows. 
He knows. Oni pe anja ohun lo le. I was to feel like I'm a man. I, I don't want people to see me. This is between you and God. Please. God wants to bless us. God wants to release this grace upon our lives. He wants to do something new. Yeah. 